for the street, you want a motorcycle that has a lot of torque. Forget the top end power, that's for the highway banditos out there to lose their license. You want to have all that soul and power right at idle, right at the bottom. And I, that's why I love this 2019 YZ450 FX that I converted to a street legal supermoto. It's got all that torque right at the bottom. Bust wheelies all day. Have a good time. And in this video, I'm going to tell you five motorcycles that have the most torque. That is absolutely amazing fun out here on the streets. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today make sure to visit cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through hey guys check it out i got some new shorty gloves you want to get these gloves this ultra lightweight helmet with the auto tint shield uh, motor vlog camera airbag vest to help keep you safe jacket all my gear I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos I'm telling you man the torque torque is where it's at <laughs> telling you guys oh yeah baby <laughs> Good times, baby. I love it. That tote right at the bottom. I love it. <laughs> That's what you need is the torque. That's what's going to give you all the fun and the goodness out here on the streets. Like I said, top end is for the track, man, and for the highway banditos. And, and that's just stupid and foolish, man. What you need is torque. And coming in at number five is the legendary Yamaha VMAX. I told you guys I was gonna get one of these things, man, but they're hard to find. You don't see too many of them out here on the streets, man. But the VMAX has a legendary V4 engine that produces 200 horsepower, and get this, 123 pounds feet of torque. It runs the quarter mile in 10 seconds flat in stock form, guys. That's not even modded. <laughs> the thing is sick, man. And it weighs almost 700 pounds. It's a big boy. I think it weighs like 680 some pounds or something. It's heavy though, man. That's the only drawback for me is that it's heavy. But a cruiser is not supposed to be really all that lightweight. Anyhow, man, it's not that big of a deal. But the thing still cooks, man. Like I said, 10 seconds flat in a quarter mile is no joke. That's what I'm telling you, all that tote, baby. <laughs> it costs only 18,000 bucks. It's the cheapest bike on this list out of the five that I mentioned. So, VMAX is legendary. I think everybody, if you name, any motorcycle enthusiast will tell you about the VMAX, man. Anybody that knows about motorcycles, you say VMAX, the first thing they say is power and torque. <laughs> but anyways, number four, bike that has the most torque is the Motus MSTR. You have not heard about, you don't hear too much about the Motus, man. I have never seen one out here on the streets. That's like a, the unicorn motorcycle I hear. You don't see too many of them, man. But that thing has got all kinds of torque. It's another V4 engine. By the way, it is the world's fastest production push rod motorcycle out there. That just goes to show you how fast sucker is. And it's it's the lightest bike on this list at 584 pounds. That's as light as the XD Avail, but get this. It has 180 horsepower and 126 pounds feet of torque with 80 pounds feet of torque right at the bottom, right at idle. You get a whopping 80 pound right off of idle, man. So you're gonna feel all that power down low all of it it's a uh, sport touring bike it's not the prettiest looking bike <laughs> but it's, it's got all that torque and it's not a cheap bike either man that sucker is $37,000 and uh, you might want to check where a dealer is because 
I don't know of any dealers around me, man. That's what would kind of keep me from getting that bike, but the price would put me off. 37,000, that's a lot of bread. Uh, but that bike is badass, man. That's a sick bike. And uh, I'm not really into sport touring bikes, man, but I think I would rock that bike because it's not overly heavy. And it's just, like I said, it's the world's fastest production push ride motorcycle. There you go. <laughs> uh, but anyways, number three bike that has a ton of torque is the legendary BMW K1600. Yes, it has 160 horsepower and 129 pounds feet of torque, guys. Now, the problem with this bike I have is it weighs 700 pounds. But get this, it's got a six inline six cylinder engine. <laughs> you don't see too many six cylinder engine bikes out there, man. Absolutely ridiculous. And that bike is not cheap either, man. That bike runs, I think that's like 37, I think 25 plus thousand dollars. Like I said, all these bikes are expensive except for the V Max. But the K1600, it's another sport touring motorcycle, but it's a pretty decent looking bike. And uh, you're gonna have all that tote, baby, to have fun out here on the streets. Probably have more fun on this bike, obviously, but everybody doesn't want to ride a supermoto. Some of you guys are more mature and want to ride a more respectable bike out here. <laughs> but anyways, that brings me to number two and i think you guys probably already know what it is and you're probably a lot of you guys are gonna say cycle cruiser why aren't you mentioning the hold on we gotta have some fun up in here boy yeah Woo this thing cooks boy Woo! This thing cooks, man. I'm telling you guys. <laughs> 450 cc's badass torque and power for the street, baby. But anyways, number two, like I said, the Triumph Rocket 3 that came out in 2020 here. I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with it. They've been doing a lot of reviews on it. The old Triumph Rocket 3 was a beast. That's another legendary bike. I mean, they're... they're Absolutely tons of power guys. It's got the inline three engine the triple cylinder engine busting out at freaking 165 horsepower 163 pounds feet of torque <laughs> Oh my goodness uh, But the sap sucker weighs close to 700 pounds man. That's a big drawback to me but they've made so many improvements the thing handles like a dream from what i hear super smooth and oh boy this is a really cool road man look at that you got some scenic action up in here with some twisties a little bit of twist look at that twisty sign baby you don't see that too much in ohio <laughs> i love it baby but yeah the, the triumph rocket 3 they say the old one is more badass than the new one man Woo! look at that sharp turn baby I don't think I've been over in this road. Woo! Oh, that tote, baby. But yeah, the Rocket 3, man. Absolutely badass to the bone bike. But, like I said, they said the old one is more badass because. You know, with all the latest, it's got all the latest electronics on the new one. And they've smoothed the throttle out. It's all, you know, it's all smoothed out and buttery and everything. I don't like smooth and buttery, to be honest with you. I like something, that a throttle that scares me. That's why I love this bike, man. This is it's just a 450 with this. This bike, I've all, I've had liter bikes, super sports. And this thing... <laughs> This throttle scares me, man, on this bike. This bike is an absolute beast. It's crazy, man. Like I said, you got that torque all at the bottom. But anyways, we're talking about the Triumph Rocket 3. And it's quite expensive, man. Like I said, all of them on this list are expensive. They want like, what is it, like 20, 20, 20 25,000 bucks for it. It comes in the R version and the GT version. Uh, the R version is the more sporty version. Um, I think it has uh, the pegs sit up a little bit higher. 
the GT version is the touring version um, personally I like the look of the R version myself but I hate those headlights on the Rocket 3 I hate them man absolutely I hate try I hate all the Triumph's headlights mostly <laughs> I hate it man Feels good, baby. But anyways, let's get to number one. The most badass bike with tons of torque is the Lightning LS218 electric sport bike motorcycle. Absolutely a beast of a bike. As you guys know with the electric bikes, they have a ton of torque. And they're known for the torque, man. And this bike is loaded with it. 200 horsepower and 168 pounds feet of torque 0 to 60 in 2.2 freaking seconds 0 to 105 seconds flat <laughs> however the range with the biggest battery in the bike which by the way this bike weighs a freaking almost like 490 pounds it's a, it's a hefty bike for a sport bike but you got to put that big boy battery in there so because you're going to be ripping the throttle you're going to need that range and the range you're only going to get with the biggest battery, I think, is like 160 miles uh, until the thing goes dead. So that's the problem I have with the electric bikes is that they just, uh, you know, I don't want to wait 30 minutes to two hours for a freaking charge, you know. I want to fill up and be able to ready to roll. So, But they're getting better. And with this bike, it does a fast charge in, I think, like 30 minutes, probably on a smaller battery, I bet. I don't know. But anyways, nonetheless, that bike's got all kinds of torque, and I'm sure you rip that throttle. You are going to rock it off the line <laughs> and feel all kinds of torque, baby. Good time. Yeah, but that bike, $40,000, guys. <laughs> $40,000. And I don't know how many dealerships there are, but I've never seen any ones around here. And for a newer bike like that, I definitely want to have a dealership close to me. So if you have one, that's good. And you got forty thousand bucks. You know, I think it's about thirty. I think thirty-eight thousand. You might as well just say forty thousand bucks. You got that laying around, and hey, maybe you want to get this bike, man. And have fun with it. I don't know. Maybe if I hit the lottery, even if I hit the lottery, I still don't think I'd buy that bike. I'm just not really hip with electric bike shit man you know what i'm saying but i don't know maybe in the future i'll probably try it you know what i'm saying yeah baby <laughs> i love it we in the rich hood today baby out here in the semi country this is what you call rich country <laughs> i love it baby but yeah guys all these bikes are absolutely sick but to be honest with you if you want to have a lot of fun for a cheap price you need to hook you up one of these bad boys this makes the absolutely perfect uh supermoto and here in ohio you can make them street legal pretty easy and i can tune the torque and power on this on my smartphone this bike has wi-fi <laughs> it's the only motorcycle that has this uh, at least of the dirt bikes that I know of. I don't know about the street bikes. But I have yet. To, you can make custom map engine maps on this, man. I have yet to do it. Because I love the two maps that come with this bike, man. Uh, these are some pretty cool looking houses. Check this out. Dang, that looks pretty slick. I like it. Uh, let me get out of here before they call the cops. <laughs> baby have a good old time out here but anyways guys leave a comment below why don't you list some other bikes that have a ton of torque that i don't know about and share with us that's why i do these videos to help create community discussion and i love talking with you guys don't forget to subscribe to my all the one motorcycle channel and also go check out my other channel look at moto thumbs up check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.